Unit 1, Recording 14.1 What is an agribusiness involved in? Depending on its size, an agribusiness can be a small-scale, medium, or large-scale food-related or agricultural-related firm. We often hear the term a large-scale agribusiness used to describe traditional farming and food processing, which uses conventional methods of farming, which have a negative effect on the environment. For example, overuse of chemicals and pesticides. Yet, it is just a prevailing opinion, and the term agribusiness refers to both conventional and green farming. Within this section, we will analyse the type of agribusinesses which is managed by a team of professionals, though small family farms can also employ specialists to help them run their businesses. Let's take a traditional dairy product manufacturer, name it DPM, and define some of the features of an agribusiness. Let's assume that it employs 100 people and it is a limited company, which means that it is a private company whose owners are legally responsible for the company's debts only to the extent of the amount of capital they invested, so they are protected from the risk of losing their personal assets. DPM produces four main products, cheese, butter, yogurt and desserts. And each of the products has its own management team. For example, the team of each product management has its own quality expert. This type of organisation is called a matrix one. It is run on conventional lines and has a traditional structure, which consists of four main departments and each department is headed by specialist managers. The first department is the research and development team. The R&D team is responsible for testing products, inventing new ones and researching new, better types of raw materials. The second department is operations. It is in charge of monitoring the production process to make sure that it's efficient and meets quality standards. It is also responsible for health, safety and food hygiene as well as packaging. The next is sales and marketing department. Their main responsibilities include liaising with the customers to make sure that the products DPM produces meet the demand of their customers. They work with the R&D department to provide market research and help develop new products. This department also includes a team of specialist salespeople who are engaged in advertising. Fourthly, there is a finance department, which takes charge of making budgets, controlling costs and losses, and providing financial data for the managing director, who provides overall guidance and has the authority to make high-level decisions. There is a strategic or senior management team, which consists of the heads of the departments and the managing director, who is often called the chief executive manager. Finally, the departments are supported by specialists from information technology, human resources and administration teams.